Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here. Hope you're having a great day today. Well, in this video, we're going to do something slightly different. I'm going to share my guitar collection with you guys, talk a little bit about why I like each guitar. This is something I get bugged about multiple times daily. So here it is for you guys. Uh, we're going to check out the collection. So a couple things before we kick off. Number one, having a lot of guitars does not make you a better guitar player. As you guys know, <laughs> Number two, it doesn't make you a better person. What guitars do is they inspire us to be creative. Whether it's a workhorse guitar, whether it's you know some sort of pristine work of art, whether it's an irrational you know bond you create with an instrument, or maybe more of a rational one, perhaps an instrument handed down from your grandfather or your father. You know we have all these connections to guitars that make us and inspire us to be more creative. Right, so that being said, let's check out some guitars. Now, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna do a quick reveal of some guitars you're gonna see in the new year that I probably shouldn't be showing you guys yet. But anyway, um, I'll do a quick reveal at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And finally, a huge shout out to the guys from String Swing who helped me set up this whole studio. I know a lot of you guys will be asking, where did you get the hangers? They're from String Swing, so I've got a couple in front of me that you guys don't usually see, and then a couple behind me. So anyway, huge shout out to String Swing. So why don't we kick things off with a Jazzmaster. So this is a Fender American Jazzmaster from their Magnificent 7 limited run, I think from three or four years ago. Anyway, this one has a Bigsby. I'm a huge Bigsby fan, which is why I picked this guitar. It generally triggers hardcore Jazzmaster people, which I don't care about because this is what I wanted. <laughs> Great guitar, sounds like a prototypical Jazzmaster. It doesn't matter if it's got the Bigsby or not. Um, the Pure 65 uh, Fender pickups sound amazing. And what I love about this guitar, doesn't sound like any of my other instruments. Like I said, huge Bigsby fan. It's got um, a little bit bigger frets on it as well. So very, very playable. Sounds unique, looks amazing. Next up is the Godin Multiac Nylon Slim. Now the Slim means it's got more of an acoustic nut width than a classical. A classical is very, very wide, which means when you're switching back and forth between guitars, it can get very tricky to relearn that string spacing. So very, very playable. Um, I know it doesn't appear on the channel a lot, but this is a great guitar. Oh yes, it's the first Telecaster of the night. It's gonna be a long video. Pop some popcorn, grab a drink, settle in, here we go. This is my year 2000 American Standard Telecaster. One of the guitars I absolutely love. Uh, there's something about the pickups that are just perfect for me. I mean, the neck profile, everything is great. Um, crazy to think that a guitar from 2000 is now 20 years old. Amazing. Uh, honest wear on it. The frets probably need to re, you know, be redone. There's all sorts of bumps and gashes all over it, but I love it. This is one of my favorite guitars. Sounds fantastic. And here's Tele number two, the five string Jim Atkins signature model. Yes, five strings because the first string is broken. Just ignore that part. Such an amazing instrument. Um, we kind of built this up on the channel together. JBE pickups sound absolutely amazing. Super high-end electronics from Obsidian Wire. Uh, Graftech bridge saddles. Um, yeah, electronics are Obsidian Wire. Graftech ratio locking tuners. This guitar absolutely rocks. Uh, just search for it on the channel if you want to hear what it sounds like, but it sounds amazing. Next up is this Ibanez, one of the prettiest guitars in my collection, in my opinion. Um, I often get questions, what model is this? What's the finish on and on? Um, the finish is Wild Pilsner Burst. If you just search that phrase, you'll find this guitar because I have no idea what the model is. The Ibanez models are ridiculous. But anyway, it's an S-Series Prestige in Wild Pilsner Burst. What I love about this guitar, so thin, so light. You know, you can play on this guitar for hours. It literally, I bet you it's not even five pounds or maybe just right around five pounds. Um, and as on, you know, all prestige, fretwork's impeccable, playability is impeccable, sounds great, love the S-Series body. This guitar is one of my favorites. Oh yes, it's Tele number three. This is the Gretsch inspired Fender Thinline Super Deluxe. Yes, I think it is. Uh, this guitar is so eye-catching, just a fetching instrument. <laughs> Uh, so amazing. Just give you guys a few shots of this. What I loved about this uh, guitar when it was released is it's just so out of the box, um, so gaudy, so over the top, but it plays and sounds fantastic. Um, you take a thin line Telecaster or even a solid body, you put in a set of like TV Jones like this and it's just perfect. It's kind of like 
a little bit thicker than a, than a traditional Tele, but still with lots of twang. No 60 cycle hum, you know, binding on the neck. Every time you just pick up this guitar, you have to smile and you just play a little bit different on it. So very, very cool guitar. Next up is this Dan Electro. What I love about these guitars, you know, beyond their quirky kind of 60s styling is the unique tones. So again, you know, I love to have guitars that don't sound like any of my other guitars. The dual lipstick pickups absolutely fall into that category. If you want a guitar that doesn't sound like the other guitars in your collection, grab a Dan Electro. It's splittable, so you can, you know, really, really get some bright twang or, you know, like a humbucker. They don't sound like anything else. They don't look like anything else. Totally unique. Switching gears again, we've got a PRS Custom 24. This is their core model, so the model made in the US in obviously a gold top. So this is very different. You don't see a lot of like gold top uh, PRS guitars. Um, I think this one sounds fantastic. It's hum cancelling in all five positions, the way they mix and match the pickups. Um, really, you know, usable tones, which I love about it. Uh, supremely playable, supremely, you know, holds tune. It's just an amazing experience. I don't find this sterile at all. You know, some people are like, you know, the dentist, doctor, whatever guitars, because they are expensive. I picked this one up used, um, like most of the guitars in my collection. Very, very few are, are new because, you know, when you buy used, you just save so much money. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the PRS Custom 24. Fantastic guitar, um, you know, built so precise. It kind of verges on more of a work of art, although I don't treat it like that. I play it all the time um, and it's not, you know, none of the guitars in my collection are quote unquote investment guitars. These are just guitars that I like or connected with. Um, and this is one of them, just so different in a gold top. I think it looks fantastic under the lights. You see all the carves, great guitar. Oh yes, Tele number four. I should be playing this guitar on every video on the channel constantly. What a gorgeous instrument. So this is the Midnight 60s Telecaster from Fender. Lots to hate about it, lots to love about it. First of all, it's gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. Black and gold, double bound body, um, gloss neck, everything's really cool. What I don't like about it, super sticky neck, seven and a quarter inch radius, small frets. Now, this is made in Japan, so it is impeccable. Such a fun guitar to play. I, I do find like I wrestle with it just because of how sticky the neck is, how small the frets are. The pickups are okay too, but <laughs> you know, they're, they're nothing that you know, will blow your mind, but just the whole package. The whole package is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's a fun guitar to play and it's just a drop dead looker. Yes, you guys, remember the Ultimate Epiphone? What a great guitar, one of the most popular builds on the channel. Root beer burst finish with this insane quilt top. Uh, finish only available in Canada, I believe, or maybe a couple European countries as well. Hard to find finish. Um, yeah, P-rail pickups, push-pull pots, um, you know, a ton of different combinations, all of which sound fantastic. Keystone locking tuners. What a great build this was, the Ultimate Epiphone. Next. Tele number five, Fiesta Red, made in the US, GNL ASAT. Better construction, more precise, better pickups, better fret work, better tuning machines. And you're not a Tele fan if you've never played a GNL. Sorry, that's the rules. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, yes. From the moment I saw this guitar, I fell in love. You throw, you know, gold hardware, Bigsby. The funkiness of a Gretsch in a classic single cut design. This guitar is gorgeous, not horribly expensive. Filtertron pickups, Bigsby in this package. You know, what a drop dead gorgeous guitar. Well, since I'm already drooling over Gretsch, let's check out the 6118 anniversary model in two-tone smoke green. What a guitar. Like so much character, it's insane. It looks like it's gonna be a beast to play. It's one of the nicest, easiest playing guitars in my collection, absolutely amazing. And it's one of those guitars, I think when I did the, the initial reveal, I was like, the guitar I never knew I wanted, right? It's just not something I'm usually drawn to, uh, more of like a basic kind of telly guy. Uh, but as soon as I played this, I'm like, wow, what an instrument. Picked it up for like 1200 bucks Canadian, which is like, I don't know, a thousand bucks US or maybe even a little, a little less. Just got an incredible deal on this guitar. It is an amazing instrument. Another gem from Gretsch. 
Moving from one absolute gem to another, we've got the Pauletti Stratospheric, handmade in Italy out of you know chestnut wood from the 1800s absolute work of art this is one of the guitars you know my wife generally doesn't care about any of my instruments she saw this and she's like daryl you know what we could hang this one upstairs <laughs> it's just such a gorgeous guitar um you know the two-piece pick guard uh not everybody loves i think it's absolutely gorgeous you know just different enough to make it you know interesting to look at um you know all the brass work and everything what a guitar um one of the best sounding single coil pickups around. They sound fantastic. Trem system that works. It's vintage, but it works. It's got six screws. Very, very nice. Again, you know, playable fretwork. You know, when you pick up a guitar that's made by hand, it legitimately has a different feel to it. And this is one of those guitars. Hmm. Feels like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Right. We haven't done a telly in a while. Here we go. Telly number six. Now this was a build we did together on the channel. I actually started this build before I had a YouTube channel, but what we did is installed Filtertron pickups. We found a thin line guard with that cutout. Very hard to find, took me forever. Uh, this vintage bridge plate cutout for uh, Filtertron took forever as well. I don't even know if any company's making this anymore. So hard to find. But anyway, you guys know I love my Bigsby's. Filtertron pickups in a thin line Telly, surf green, American Performer Necks? Is that what they... I think they rebranded the American Special into the American Performer. So anyway, we have a Fender, American whatever neck, uh, 9.5 inch radius, uh, bigger size frets, very playable. Again, that surf green with all this combination is just, you know, gives off such a vintage vibe. This is one of my guitars, you know, inevitably someone will ask, what's your favorite guitar? You know, if you could only pick one, this would be on my short list, just because again, I have a personal bond with this guitar. One of my first builds turned out so great, so playable, sounds great. Um, definitely one of my keepers. Next up, we've got an affordable Ibanez. So this is the SA series. I believe it's an SA 160, I think. I think that's what it's called. Again, I never remember Ibanez uh, <laughs> model numbers, but anyway, very affordable guitar. Um, we souped it up with some JBE pickups. This thing absolutely screams now. Um, it's a guitar you're not afraid to take anywhere, use, abuse. Um, plays like a dream for a low-cost guitar. And of course, with the JBE pickups, it sounds insane. Now, most of the guitars you see today will have dedicated videos on them. So if you want to know more information about a specific guitar, just search them up on my channel. They'll pop up. You can watch them and find out all the details. Here's one that I don't have a dedicated video on, and maybe I will this year. Um, what an amazing guitar. So this is a Music Man Albert Lee. This is a signature model. One of the nicest bird's eye maple necks I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know if it'll actually, the camera will grab it, but I'll try. Bird's eye on the back. Bird's eye on the front, just an amazing instrument. Now, when you look at it, you're like, that's a pretty funky guitar. But then you look at it some more and you're like, it is kind of funky, but it's pretty cool. And then you keep looking at it and you're like, that's not just cool, that's like a really good looking guitar. It's like one of those things, the more you look at it, the more you love it from like that really hard angle that kind of comes up here and the, the funky offset shape it's just a really great guitar it comes with music man silent circuit um, which eliminates not all but a lot of the 60 cycle hum from single coil so pretty quiet guitar this one was actually signed by albert too come on camera you can do it can you yes anyway signed this guitar is amazing so if i have time this year uh, maybe i'll do a, a dedicated video to it but what an amazing guitar Yes, you guys will recognize this guitar. I just did my demo on it and I partnered with D'Angelico for a giveaway. Powder Blue Gold Hardware Deluxe SS. Six-way switching. Love that. Love the tone. Love the looks. This is like, you know, if you're looking for a semi-hollow body guitar with, you know, some character, something a little bit, you know, outside of the norm. Um, Seymour Duncan pickups, everything, you know, just an amazing guitar. Next up is another blue beauty. This is the Daphne Blue Gold Logo Squire Deluxe. Modified by the guys from 920D, locking tuners. I uh, had Lambertone pickups in here, which sound amazing. Uh, last week I modified it with these uh, bipolar pickups. Really, really interesting pickups. Um, so yeah, Babbage uh, saddles on it. You know, can't go wrong with the Squire. Hmm? 
Oh yes, it is telly time. This time we've got Schecter's version of a T-style guitar. P90 pickup, single coil, series parallel switching, nice open grain finish, lots of contours, very, very playable, all for an affordable price. Up next, we've got the forgotten one. Yes, it's the original affordable Super Strat. This is the Yamaha Pacifica. So I have this guitar specifically because I want to do a Pacifica build this year. So hopefully you'll see more of this guitar as the year goes on. Um, but yeah, I want to do, you know, a build on a Pacifica. Great platform to start building on, you know, a little bit less you know, common than, you know, a Squire or something like that, which I think will make it very, very interesting. So this is on my radar. We're going to do a Pacifica build. All right. How are you guys holding out? You still good? You need a snack? You need to head to the washroom because we're about to hit the guitars on the back wall. One of my favorite guitars of this last year. Yes, it's the Schecter Solo 2 Custom. What a great guitar. I hope you guys aren't keeping track of how many times I say these are my favorite guitars. <laughs> They're all my favorites. Anyway, uh, they struck such a great balance on these pickups. They're made in the USA, uh, Pasadena's, I believe. Anyway, they handle jazz, they handle blues, uh, heavy rock, metal. I don't know how they did it, but these pickups are very versatile and they sound really good. You know, not just like they cover other genres really well. They sound great playing like almost every genre. Ooh, yes, it's a Fender. And yep, it's a Strat with a really nice finish. Ooh, but we still got that clear pick guard on there. I think over the break here, I'm going to, uh, you know, put this guitar back to its stock form. But what a great experiment this was, you know, playing, you know, these, these Seymour Duncan Zephyr pickups. So expensive, but what a fun project to do some, you know, comparisons and to see just what that law of diminishing returns does. Uh, really, really interesting. But that aside, this select strat or any of the select strats, absolutely amazing instruments. Basically a small run of custom shop quality strats with uh, just drop dead gorgeous tops. Up next, we've got another really great option for a single cut guitar that's a little bit different than the norm. This is the D'Angelico Atlantic. What I love about this guitar, thin body, contours on the back, so you get a little tummy cut here. Uh, one of the nicest neck joints, you know, ever on a single cut design is just killer. Uh, beautiful aesthetics in my opinion, black and gold, split block inlays, Empire State Building, truss rod cover, D'Angelico headstock. So it's got sort of, you know, just that groove that is a little bit different, but it sounds fantastic. Uh, Seymour Duncan 59 pickup, so it does, you know, all the classic tones, uh, but just in a slightly different way. So sticking with D'Angelico, we've got an insane guitar. This is the Bob Weir signature model. Really, really cool guitar. Um, I call this my most versatile guitar. There's so many different tonal combinations. These P90 pickups, uh, front and back, are splittable, so you can go noiseless or traditional. Uh, you've got a Lawler, I believe, in the middle. Really nice, high-quality single coil. Uh, Five-way switch with a blender pot, so you can blend things together. Like There's just so many different combinations. It's insane. I think it looks really great, too. Very funky, um, kind of like offset design. So really cool guitar um, and really unlike anything else in my collection. Yes, you guys will recognize this guitar. It's the Eastman SB59. Super lightweight, all hand built, traditional, single cut. Now I always say this guitar is not meant to, you know, compete with the uh, Les Paul traditional or the standard. It really competes with the hand built reissue guitar. So we're talking like, you know, the R8s and the R9s or whatever, um, guitars that are five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000. This one at a quarter of the price, a third the price. Very, very nice instrument. Um, you can check out my demo for all the tones, but uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic guitar. Longtime subscribers will recognize this guitar. I picked it up when the channel turned over 100,000 subscribers. Wow, what an amazing guitar. This is one of my dream guitars. This is a Gibson Les Paul Standard double cut. Now, we removed the Burst Bucker Pro pickups because in this kind of guitar, I wanted it to be an old school beast. So we have Dark Moon, uh, what are they? Death Valley pickups. And it just kind of restores the fullness, the thickness of what I wanted this guitar to be. So it's an absolutely amazing guitar. Unfortunately, like both of my double cut Gibsons, it's cracking all in here, which I hate for a guitar this new. But uh, yeah, anyway, 
Um, still love it, still sounds great. Awesome guitar. Ooh, this next guitar is a cracker. Well, not in a good way, it's, it's literally cracked all over. But you know, <laughs> made for one year. Uh, this is the uh, SG3, I think it is. Uh, tone volume with a chicken head selector. Really interesting guitar. My son calls it the Batman guitar. Uh, looks really cool. Unfortunately, it is exhibiting all sorts of cracking like the other double cut that I have. But I mean, it's a cool guitar. Next up is one of the most popular guitars on my channel. This is a Les Paul Standard, the 120th anniversary, as you can see from the badge right here. This is in Ocean Perimeter Blue, I believe. When I saw this finish, I just absolutely fell in love. The figuring on the top, uh, that kind of blue burst into a teal, and then I added the clear knobs just because, you know, I don't want to distract from that top. Uh, zebra coil pickups for a little character, and. Uh, and we've got a pretty amazing guitar. Sounds great, plays pretty good as well. Uh, better than the double cuts for sure. I think just the joint here is much more solid or maybe Gibson just took the time to actually find, you know, dry pieces of wood, like every other manufacturer. Anyway, uh, this one seems to be holding okay so far, but absolutely amazing guitar. And yeah, just an absolute stunner. Next up is the B&G Stepsister. Based around the parlor sized guitars of the 20s and 30s, this is a hand built guitar in this gorgeous honey burst finish. Just an amazing guitar. Really great sounding P90 pickups makes for, you know, just something a little different. Really, really gorgeous, beautiful guitar. Now, this guitar just feels right. This is the sibling to the Stratospheric from Pauletti. This is their Nancy model, and again, obviously a T type guitar with that two piece pickguard that I absolutely love. Uh, again, chestnut wood from the 1800s. Very traditional guitar. Hand built in Italy, just like the other one. Um, so very, very vintage features, but it just sounds great. And, you know, in my opinion, just looks absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite guitars. Oh man, another absolute jam. So this is the Super Strat, along with the Ultimate Epiphone, probably the most popular guitar build I you know, have ever done on the channel. Um, and it just turned out so well. So what we have here is a Warmoth, obviously flame maple body in that black burst with those uh, dark moon pickups. These are the overkills with those abalone covers and the knobs and everything. Hip shot contour bridge, matching black headstock with the roller nut, this guitar has stayed one of the best in my collection. Doesn't go out of tune, always a joy to play. And you know, it's just something special when a parts caster like this turns out so good. Just an absolute amazing guitar. Now I know it's hard to follow the Super Strat, but what we have here is the American Professional Stratocaster in Sienna Sunburst. A really beautiful guitar in its own right and really, you know, Fender's current flagship. So really great instrument, sounds good, very vintage. So if you want those classic Strat tones, hey, this is a good way to go. Oh yes, anybody else like Flame Maple on their neck? This is hopefully my soon to be released official signature Super Tele from 10S Guitars. Flame maple top, flame maple on the neck. Um, I can't release the official specs yet because, uh, well, we'll do it soon in the new year. Anyway, very, very amazing guitar. Contours everywhere, lightweight, playable, uh, amazing pickups, everything. So we've got some huge news about this guitar, hopefully in the new year. Um, stay watching for a few more minutes and you'll see maybe a quick glimpse of the second prototype, which will be much closer to, you know, the actual guitar release. But anyway, an amazing guitar. What a great experience. I got to design this guitar with the features that I want from the ground up in terms of playability, in terms of tone, all those things. Remember this one? Yes, it is the Relish. Mary one. So pop off the back, held on with magnets, boom, pull a pickup out, put a different one in, and you've got a totally different tone. So it is the ultimate guitar for, you know, somebody who just wants to get comfortable playing on one guitar. Honestly, that's the best way to do it. That's how you become very proficient by playing a single guitar over and over and over again until it feels like an extension of your body. That's where a guitar like this comes in because you just swap the pickups for your different tones, but the guitar feels the same and that's worth a lot. So, you know, <laughs> 
totally advanced guitar, something, you know, unlike I've ever seen before. I know other people have, you know, done various systems, but nothing, you know, nearly this elegant. And there's, you know, some other big news coming up with Relish. Uh, if you follow them on Instagram, you maybe have seen it, but they're going to be releasing, you know, a guitar similar to this, but like, you know, at a half the price, a third the price. So very, very exciting news from Relish. I'm hoping to get my hands on that model for the new year. So stay tuned. But yeah, what an absolute, you know, crazy innovation and not just the innovation, but the execution, how they did it. So cool. What a neck on this guitar. Yes, it's the Shiji. So flame maple skunk stripe on a quarter sawn roasted maple neck. Now, after I did my demo on this guitar, I had a few people, probably three or four people, um, personally message me saying, you know what, I took a chance based on your review and they all said the same thing. Your guitar was not an outlier. When I took it apart, when I looked at, you know, how everything was constructed and I was just really blown away for the price, um, just because you never know, you know, when you do an unknown thing like this. Um, and they all said the same thing. Yours was not unique. Ours was just as good as yours. So that's really, really great to hear and a little comforting. Um, so yeah, anyway, have been getting some great feedback on the Shiji. Next up, we've got a guitar that I also haven't done a dedicated review on. This is the Music Man Silhouette Special, but the 20th anniversary model. So really, really cool. As soon as I saw it, I, you know, started keeping my eyes open for a used one uh, because they don't, you know, they don't grow on trees around here. So, you know, it took a while to find, but I was so happy. I was patient, waited, found a good deal um, and picked up this guitar because, you know, as a fan of Music Man in general, this guitar just checks all the boxes. You know, sounds amazing. Very, very simple. Volume, tone, three-way switch, DiMarzio pickups, and just a killer, I think they call it like a caramel top or caramel burst or something like that. But as you can see, it's amazing. Fear not, we're getting close to the end of the video and the reveal of those guitars. But before we do, we need to look at this absolute race car of a guitar. So this is the Schecter C1 SLS Elite. Just look at it. <laughs> amazing. So we got Fishman Fluence pickups. We've got this amazing uh, finish on there. Uh, binding. Look at the back of the neck, the neck through. Everything just looks amazing. Stainless steel frets. Um, almost every single spec on this guitar is as high as it can possibly get all for you know an insanely low price so this is one of those guitars that just offers you know a ridiculous value um, and you know even when you split the fishman fluence pickups uh, the single coil sounds are still noiseless things like that um, that just make this such an incredible guitar very very playable in every way just an incredible guitar well i think we're at the end We've got one more guitar here, and then we're going to reveal to you guys some of the uh, yeah incredible guitars we have coming up on the new year. So before we do that, we cannot gloss over this. This is the Rec Guitars Blue Morpho Classic, and you know I just did my individual review on this guitar. Uh, <laughs> hard to put into words but if you want to know more about this guitar check out that review or just go follow rec guitars on instagram and you'll see some of the most amazing guitars and basses uh, out there handmade look at the back uh, cavity cover matching wood there and everything just you know just an incredible incredible guitar uh, the classic model has the three single coils but uh, you can get you know humbuckers and all that stuff too but you know for me it's just like that crimson color with the gold and black and the body shape everything so playable sounds so great anyway check out the demo of this guitar just incredible now over the course of the year i've donated about 20 guitars to various charities and you know people doing fundraisers who need items uh, you know to help them raise funds for various causes so if you had a favorite guitar that you're like i thought he had one of those but he didn't show it that's probably where it went so you know absolutely my privilege to help uh, these organizations raise funds for good causes um, so that's where some of those guitars went if you're wondering right so if you stuck around and watched this entire video I don't know what to say. You guys are seriously hardcore. Honestly, I like watching, you know, videos like this from other people, other collectors, um, other YouTubers as well. I just find it fascinating to see what kind of instruments uh, those guys use and love. So anyway, hopefully you found it, uh, you know, halfway is entertaining and uh, hopefully you found some guitars that you guys liked. 
Uh, but here we go. It's time to reveal some of the next best guitars uh, coming up on the channel. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I never thought I'd actually make this video, but your constant harassment has paid off, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great week. Take care.